10 positions chess engines just don't understand by national master Sam Copeland. All right, uh, let, let me let me adjust this. Is, this is off a little bit. One second. There we go. There we go. Okay. So since IBM's deep blue defeated world chess champion Gary Kasparov in their 1997 match, chess engines have only increased dramatically in strength and understanding. Today, the best chess engines are an almost incomprehensible 1,000 ELO points stronger than Deep Blue was at the time. A quick Google search for terms such as Magnus Carlsen versus Stockfish turns up numerous threads asking if humans can compete against today's top chess engines. The broad consensus seems to be that the very best humans might secure a few draws with the white pieces, but in general, they would lose the vast majority of games and would have no hope of winning in any games. I see no reason to disagree with this consensus. Yeah, the answer is no, basically. Um, unless you get, like, there's only, like, one or two openings I can think of. Actually, only one, like the King's Indian, where I could see a human beating a computer, and only if the position gets closed. Um, so let's keep going. Um, despite the clear superiority of engines, uh, there, are, there are positions where chess engines don't and possibly can't understand that are quite comprehensibly quite comprehensible for human players. Typically, these positions showcase the human ability to think creatively, 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 or creatively, sorry, creatively, sorry, creatively, um, and formulate plans and understand long-term tactics in the position or long-term factors in the position. Um, an example is this position by Nobel Prize winner Roger Penrose, brother, of G, brother, brother to GM Jonathan Penrose. Uh, humans will easily see that white can do nothing and black will have no plausible attempt to win. But chess engines will assert that black is easily winning due to numerous extra black pieces on the board. Right. So white is somehow winning here. Um, uh, my girlfriend is walking through the room and heard you struggle with the word creatively. She busts out laughing. Well, the thing is, I said it and like it just it sounded wrong to me. So that's why like I, that's why I kept um that's why, that's why, like, I kept saying, because it just, it, I knew something was wrong when I said it. It's like, there's something, there's just something wrong. Like, I just knew there was something wrong with it. Um, but anyway, white is winning here. Um, let's see if I can figure out how white is winning exactly. So the only way that white can win is if, is if somehow you can take, um, uh, no, this must be a, no, no, white's not winning. This is a draw. White can't win here. Um, it, it can only be a draw, like, because the thing is black can't do anything. The pieces are blocked. So it's a draw. Um, so let's keep going. White and in, well instructive and useful for demonstrating human understanding. The Penrose position doesn't fully demonstrate the incredible human capacity for creativity and rejection of the rules. A good example of human exploitation of the engine's failings is Jim Hikaru Nakamura's defeat of Ribka in the following three minute blitz game from the internet chess club. Nakamura cleverly locks the position so that progress is impossible for Ribka. Then he offers two exchange sacrifices to the engine. With the position locked, the the, rooks, it, the engine's rooks have no value, but but the engine thinks it has winning material advantage. With a draw by the 50-move rule approaching, the engine sacrifices a pawn to avoid a draw. But this proves a huge mistake as Nakamura is then able to win the game, an incredible achievement. So yeah, so this is the game. I'll just go through the game, not, not too deeply. This was in... 2008, uh, many, many years ago. Um, so here I play rook e6. I'm, I blunder an exchange. Big mistake, right? I just blunder a knight for a rook. So we keep going. And now I just waste a bunch of moves. We waste more moves. Blah, 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 la 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 um, And then at some point I play rook e4, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's keep going. Right, now I accidentally blunder a second exchange. It takes, and now I put this here. And the thing is, because I'm down two exchanges, you see like it has two rooks against a knight and a bishop here. It actually makes a mistake of um, pushing the pawn to c4 and losing the game uh, in the in the process. As you'll see very shortly, let's keep going. Um, I will just click on the moves because I don't want to waste 50 moves. So here we go. Um, and yeah, and basically at the right moment, the computer plays C4, blundering a pawn to avoid the 50 move draw rule. And so now I take, I go here, and now it just loses the whole, whole now the game kind of collapses. Um, but basically it loses the pawn, loses everything, and now, now the pawns go and I win the game. All right, so let's keep going. Um, 
There are many more fascinating positions that baffle even the most advanced chess AI. To demonstrate this, I've selected 10 types of positions that your brain may be better able to understand than a silicon imitation. While some modern engines may be able to solve these positions with considerable time to think and a lot of powerful hardware, many of these positions will fully defy the understanding of even the best modern engines. Many of the following positions are included in one or both of the IQ test, um, IQ test and the hard talk chess 2020 test from talkchess.com, one of the most popular computer chess forums. Where available studies are sourced from Vander Hayden's Endgame Study Database, the most complete and well-referenced set of studies. All right. Note, some engines are better than others at evaluating these positions. You will get a different result with Stockfish 13, Leela, Leela Chess 0, and other engines at different depths. What may be challenging for an older, older engine or a certain type of engine may be less so for another. The purposes of this article, if a strong human can grasp the key idea quickly, or if, if a, or for the purpose of this article, if a strong human can grasp the key idea quickly, but its chess engine must strive to reach a greater depth, we will consider the human's understanding superior in these specialized cases. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Closed positions. All right. We've already seen in the Penrose puzzle and in Nakamura versus Ribka that chess engines often don't understand chess positions well. In the following famous positional sacrifice, Swindle, GM Laszlo Hazai offered his queen as, as a luscious bait, and GM Arshak Petrosian naively took the bait. Petrosian has received some criticism in chess literature for his haste, but your chess, but your chess engine will be just as happy to take the queen. All right. So in this game, basically, you have this position where white is probably better here. Um, white is probably better here, but it's not. Um, it's not clear. It's not clear if this is winning. I would say though, actually, as I look at the position, white should be winning. You go like queen d two, king b three, move the knight, go king a four, and you win. Whereas after knight b six, what happens is you end up in a position where it gets closed and you can't win the game because after takes takes h4 black takes and goes h3 and h4 and even though white has a queen for a bishop there's nothing that white can do here it's just a draw as you guys see the whole position is closed the queen is blocked in by all the pawns so this is actually a very big mistake by um by petrosian to take the queen here um he almost certainly should have moved the king and moved the queen up queen c3 king b3 knight b2 king a4 and i think white should be winning um but yeah, very, uh, very kind of, kind of surprising. But anyway, let's keep going. All right. This example demonstrates a common failure of chess engines. Greed. Computers love to have material in hand. I mean, greed is good though. For lack of a, for lack of a better word, greed is good. Um, computers love to have material in hand. And while modern neural network engines like Alpha Zero are less materialistic than their traditional uh, brute force brethren, they still struggle with with appreciating positions in which extra material is ineffectual the following two puzzles from the iq test ask you to find a clever way to exploit a closed position to hold the game don't ask your engine for help it can't okay so so the thing is the first one is white has to find some way to um white has to find a way to draw a way to draw this because black's going to bring the queen into a6 um as i understand it so let's see. Um, how do you draw this? This I believe is white to play and draw, if I'm not mistaken. So let's let's see. Uh, trying to figure out how you draw this. This is white to play and draw. Okay, what are the options? King f1, queen c8, king e1, queen a8. Knight c4 takes king king b2, queen a6, king c3 maybe works. Uh, the, the line that I'm trying to make work is some king f1 with knight c4. But you can also go bishop b3 with knight c4. You can also go bishop c2 and knight d3. Although knight d3 doesn't cut the diagonal. So my instinct is that the correct move is bishop b3, queen c8, knight c4, queen a8. Knight d6, king, king f6. And then you can maybe take on b5. You take on d5, takes knight b5, yes. Yeah, I, 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 I know what it is. It's, it's bishop b3. Oh, you can actually play it through. Good, so it's here. No, it's wrong. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Slow it down. I'm rushing too fast. Um, is it going to Maybe it's... You know what it's going to give? It's, it's going to give the other order, but I think knight c4 works. Wait a second. It's going to give the other order. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give... Wait, what? It's going to give this? 
Well, let me go. Let, let me um. Let me go back to start. I'm not sure this is correct. Queen c8. I think you can go knight c4. Oh wait, no. Black queen's too fast here. Ah, no. The order, the line that I had doesn't work because the line that I wanted was um. I wanted the other one. I wanted knight c4 with a knight on b5, but you're one tempo slow. If the king gets to f1, it's a draw. Um, but the king's on g1, so the a pawn is actually too fast. So I was a little bit too careless on that one, but it's it's not a big deal. Let's keep going. Number two, white Randolph. Um, this is a draw. This is uh, fortresses, right? Or no, this isn't for. This is just a closed position. Okay. So c4, king c4, uh, bishop d3, king d5 is not working. How do you do this? There's d5. Hmm. Somehow I get that you have to close this whole thing. You have to make a huge chain sacrifice, like c4, b3. Okay, let's see. C4, King, C4. Oh, wait. No, this is, you make the chain the other way. You, you, you just go check. Check, 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 and F5. You, you just create the connect um, the connect 5, and then it's, and then you go F5, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And you close it. Yep, exactly. You close it. You, clo you close the whole thing, and it's a draw. Okay. Let's keep going. Fortresses. I don't believe in fortresses. All right. Um, is Carlson's comment from the press conference of the 2016 World Chess Championship an indication that he is truly a human chess engine? Engines also struggle to understand fortresses. As with completely closed positions, some fortresses simply cannot be breached no matter how much time one has to bring material to bear. Here are some beautiful and challenging studies that illustrate creative uh, fortress ideas. Okay. So this is going to be white to play and draw somehow. This is a study by Dominic Hasek. Um, what is it? Is it like... Somehow white has to close the door with rook, 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 uh, rook, rook h6, no. Rook f8, no. Hmm. How do you draw this? This is interesting. Um, it's not rook h6, you guys. Was, this is my initial idea because you take in black and come down and eat the g2 pawn. So it's not rook h6. Um... My instinct says that it's something like it's like the it's like the double check is my guess. Um, uh, there's there's some way. Let me think for a second. King G King B one King G seven. It's not um it's not that. Black wants to get the rook to H two. So if you check the king back to F six. And then you go rook g, g4. Rook g4, rook h2, you lose, I guess. It's not easy. Not easy at all. Um, there has to be some way here, though, that you can... There are no sacks, so you can't sacrifice anything. Um, this one I actually am struggling with. I, I don't actually know what it is. The problem is that the black rook gets in. Basically, black wants rook h8, rook h8, rook h2, and take the pawn. So there has to be some way to, to basically prevent that. But I'm not actually sure what it could be. It could be rook f5, king e6 takes check, king e6. I mean, I, I don't know what it could be. Let's think for a second. What could it be? Okay, so rook f5, king g6. Rook f5, king g6, rook e5, rook h8, you lose. So what else can you do here? <gasps> oh, wait a second. Rook h2, king f1, takes, takes king to h4, king g1. Yes, I got it. You you bring your you bring the king to e two, right? And after rook h eight, king f one, rook h one, king e two, rook h two, king f one. It takes takes king h four, king g one, h three, h one, g two. That's a draw. Yeah, yeah. You bring the king back. You bring the king all the way over. Oh no. Wait, I thought king c one, king d one was still a draw. It's is it gonna say like rook h six first? Let me just see. Yeah, but why is this different? Maybe I'm crazy. But isn't this the same thing? I think it's the same thing. 
King c1 takes king d1, rook h8, king e2. How does black win? Rook h2, king f1, check, king e2. No, it's this, I think it's the same thing. King c1, rook h8 loses. Oh, because king d1, you have rook h2. You don't have to check first. Oh, okay, very nice. Um, all right, let's keep going. Wait, I don't want to see the solution. But this one, it's make it shows a solution. I, I don't want a solution to this one. All right, let me, uh, I don't think I, I don't think I can. No, I, I can't do it. The whole solution is here. So never mind. This one, I, I wanted to do this one, but I guess solution is just here. So check here. This should be six, and this is a draw because the black can't do anything with the king and the pawns here. Okay. Um, number three, breakthroughs. Um, the flip side of failing to appreciate the inability to make progress in some closed positions and fortresses is that positions in which progress can be made may also defy engine comprehension. In timely situations in which material must be surrendered to ensure progress or invasion, engines may not sense the urgency of the moment. GM Alexei Shirov's following endgame breakthrough has been called the greatest chess move of all time. Today, almost any title human player will immediately recognize the position and move, but chess engines will remain baffled. Yeah, this is Bishop H3. Beautiful move here. Absolutely beautiful move um, in this position. It's this Bishop H3. Brilliant move. Um, one of the nicest moves you will ever see. It's, it's such a beautiful move um really really beautiful move so all right let's keep going um here's another great end game example <clears throat> from world champion boris spassky where white cannot make slow progress it's time to break through and now now before black places the king on c7 and white can no longer achieve the winning bishop e1 a5 maneuver all right um, so in this position, it's C5, is it C5 here? It is, right? Yeah, it's the C, it's the C5, D6 line, which is just winning because uh, Bishop takes C5, Bishop D8, Bishop B4. Long game, it, go, it goes on, it goes on uh, further and further. But anyway, um, anyway, it, go, it goes on. So let's keep going. One of the finest examples in human play comes from the great GM David Bronstein, Bronstein. If white plays Bishop to C2, there is no more progress to be made. But... Black plays rook takes b3. Beautiful move here. And the bishop on b1 is terrible because you take rook here and then you just go rook e2. Yeah. And this this is just uh, just winning for black. Rook c3 and the pawns. The pawns in the center march all the way down. So let's keep going. All right. This is a picture of Bronstein. Um, played many innovative engine disliked ideas that are strong practically and objectively. All right. Let's keep going. Number four, planning. Just as humans struggle to find their purpose in life, uh, just as humans struggle to find their purpose in life, chess engines may struggle to find purpose and meaning in chess moves. Consider the following position in which white is up oodles of material. At first glance, white may seem to white white may seem to lack a breakthrough, as in as in the prior examples. But it turns out there is one winning idea. Okay, I actually saw this on Facebook a couple days ago. And I was thinking about this quite quite uh quite a bit in depth and um so the way that i understood it was that you need to get the rooks to c2 and c1 and then your king back to d1 and then play queen a2 now i don't know if this is winning because i haven't actually looked at this in depth um but the way that i saw this is that you have to play queen a2 it's just a question of what the right moment is um and that's what i'm trying to figure out b takes a2 b4 Yes, it's winning because actually you have b5, b6, b7, and you just keep waiting with the rook on d1, e1. So I don't know if the order is right, but um, or wait, no, actually, sorry, no, because how do I? I think I have to go like here. I have to go here, and now I go. It's just I have to get the order for rotation right. It's because it, I have to bring the king zigzag it back. So it's like this. I might get the order wrong, by the way, you guys. So don't be surprised if it says it's wrong. But you need, yeah. See, it's gonna say this is wrong too. Um. Because the order, I guess, matters here. So let me think about this. Um, the order does matter. So I need to get... Yeah, because I do I need the rook to e1 here, though, or not? I'm, try, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember the exact exact sequence. Because I looked at this the other day. Again, the problem with this puzzle is you can do any, any order of moves. So I assume it's this. I assume it's... That's wrong, okay. That's wrong, really. Really, really, really. Because I thought the winning maneuver was to get the rook over to c1 and get get the rooks over. So it's saying that's wrong. Maybe it's, or I meant here. Maybe it's rook c1. Um, and now I get to go king e1. I don't. I mean, all all these orders don't really matter. It's just the it's the sequence at the end that matters. I think it's here. 
I presume it's here. I presume it's here. I presume it's here. I presume it's here. And now I think it's queen a2, if I'm not mistaken. And now you go here, and now you go here, and now you just go here. And then you go here, you wait, here, you wait, and then you 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 win the game. Um so yeah, so this is uh this is kind of what I what I saw before. So so yeah. All right. Uh, this is like that number puzzle that Fisher did on Carson show. Yeah, I mean, I had I knew the the sequence. I mean, I I, I don't think it actually matters the order you do it. It's a matter of whether you see the idea cuz black can't do anything to prevent it. So um okay, so this is good. Okay, in a similar fashion, engines can struggle to appreciate lengthy maneuvering ideas. Here's an example where many engines just shuffle but by encroaching, white can eventually win material and the game. In the following position, a lengthy king maneuver and clever knight play are needed to win. Okay. Uh, oh, but the, the solution's shown, so I mean, there's nothing I can really do in this puzzle. Okay, so how does this go? You make a knight, right? Let me just, with, I'm trying not to look, look, I'm not looking at the notation, so let me see. Um, where do you need to get the knight? Is it b6? Is it e4? Probably you come around, you collect the knight on h. You can collect the knight on h1, and then basically you bring the king all the way back down. Yeah, yeah. You, so you collect it. You put the knight on e7. You go king g2. You take. You come back. You rotate the knight. I think you leave the knight there, and then you rotate the king all the way back around. You take, and then you go king e8. I could be wrong, but let's see. Okay, yeah, you take. Okay. You come. Yeah, and you come all the way around the back, and then you stack at the right moment. Yeah, you take at the right moment, and then you just take. Yeah. And this is winning um so so yeah this is so I, I i more or less got this right of course like the the notation is there so it doesn't really mean much but anyway um let's keep going number five prophylaxis prophylaxis the prevention of an opponent's ideas is one of the most difficult things in chess it, it's no surprise that then that the engines may also struggle with this concept prophylaxis is naturally most difficult when the opponent's ideas are well hidden in the following position, black is a dangerous idea to play rook a2 and win the b2 pawn. White has one clever defense that requires anticipating the strength of rook a2. Okay, so it's prophylaxis. Pro, did I say prophy as opposed to profil? I mean prophylaxis. It's kind of the kind of the yeah what whatever. Okay, let's let's uh, let's let's uh, let's focus. Okay, so somehow here white has to stop rook a2. Rook takes b2. That's the only thing you can do. Um, But if you take on, if you play knight takes b3, I was thinking it's bishop f5, rook a2, knight b3, takes on king c1, but you actually are losing there, so that can't be right. Um, oh, you have knight a2 and bishop b, you have some bishop b1. Yes, you have bishop b1. You, you, you go bishop f5, rook a2, takes, takes king c1, or king c1, queen, bishop b1. Yes. Oh, okay. I don't think that makes a difference. You just, I, I mean, can't you just wait? Wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I assumed you could just wait on any square. Okay, I mean, it's the same same thing. I mean, whatever. It's, it's all the same. And you go here, and then you block. Yeah. Um, I think any move wins there. I don't, I don't, it lists bishop e4 as the best move, but any move should work. Um, all right. So, so yeah, and this is just a draw because you can wait with king c2, king c1 forever. Okay. Okay. <laughs>